When police catch criminals in the act, they often lose their temper, like this pair of thieves who were stopped in a stolen car. Okay, car come here. Sir. Come here. Now, stop. No, we're not playing these games. No, I or a drug dealer who immediately led police on a dangerous chase that endangered everyone around. Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Don't move! Don't move! Told you we'd get you. We also have a prominent councilman who was caught consuming crack in public in broad daylight. But let's start with an aggressive man who calmly walked into a gas station to buy cigarettes and ended up rampaging and hitting the manager in the face with a cigarette. Is Lisa here? Yeah. Okay. Uh, she just called. She just called yeah. It's this red um, Jeep right Cherokee, the passenger. Yep. He got a pack of gold rush. I asked him before he even got the cigarettes if he had his ID. He told me yes. He grabbed the cigarettes, ringed them up, put them right here. He snatched them, threw his change down on the counter, and I said, I need your ID. And he says, I don't give up, and walked out the door. I said, okay, I'm calling the cops. Okay. You want him trespass or what? Oh, absolutely. Okay. He threw a cigarette in my face. Oh. Hey, what's going on? What? Okay, I don't know. Well, you're supposed to show IDs for cigarettes, correct? I don't know what you're talking about. You got an ID? I don't have an ID. What is your name? What do you mean, what is my name? Why are you going to need my I'm name? I'm trying to ask you who you are. Name? Obviously, it says Deputy Jones. Deputy Jones. Okay, so what is your name? Deputy Smith. No, it's not. All right, well, listen. Why do you need my name? Because in order to purchase cigarettes in the United States, especially in the state of Florida, you need to be able to prove that you're over the age of 21. Okay. So we do that by a state issued ID card. Okay. So. What's the problem? Did you want to buy cigarettes? I did buy cigarettes. No, you didn't. Yeah, well, you took them, you put threw the money down, correct? No. I do you have any ID on you? I did not grab them myself. She put them on the counter, I handed her the money. I walked out of the What store. is your name? Don't worry about my name. My name is my name. You're not in guard of knowing what my name is. You got no reason to know what my name is. What? I what is your name? One. My name is the First Amendment. Can't off. Okay? It's the First Amendment? First Amendment. First you, know what the, you know what our amendments are? Oh, my God, yes, I would. Okay. Which one do you want to talk about? All right, the first one. The first one. Well, tell me what it is, and we'll talk about it. No. Because you're probably, sounds like you're talking about maybe the Fourth Amendment. Maybe. Or maybe the Fifth Amendment. Maybe. Hey, sir, what is your name? You know this gentleman? You know? Yes, sir. You know this gentleman? Okay. You wouldn't happen to have an ID, would you? What, sir? I can't, I can't hear you. I do have an ID. Leave him out of it, because I offered to get out of this car, and he said, no, I'm your friend, I'm going to stay here, I'm going to give you a ride, because I gave you a ride up here. So okay. leave him, don't go, you got his tag number, and that's enough. Okay. All right, you want his name, do your research, violate the terms and conditions of our freedom. Huh? I can't hear you. I was raised by Marines, around Marines. It doesn't matter, were you in the service? Did yeah, you actually put your, what branch? Don't worry about it. You're in a I shouldn't be answering any more Go questions. Ahead. What does this have to do with why you're here? Go talk to her. Go get my money off the counter and give it back to me. Then come talk to her. What the officer doesn't know yet is that the suspect hit a gas station employee in the head with a cigarette that was burning, which aggravates the situation and potential charges. For now, they are just seeking a permanent ban for the suspect from this establishment, but Deputy Jones needs suspect's details for that. A gas station employee is now joining the argument, and the situation is becoming tenser. But the aggressive man will soon regret everything. Hey, Mr. Stewart. You don't have any problems with him on the property. Has he ever, ever given you an issue? It's him, and he just threw a cigarette in my Get the hell out of here. I didn't throw no cigarette at you, you crazy lunatic. This lady don't like me for some reason. I don't know who she is. She's, she's not following the up. rules. She ain't got no business even standing out here putting her nose in this shit. Now she, I'm going to throw a cigarette at her? What did you just she's throw? She's crazy. Whatever You're crazy, right lady. Right she I'm don't crazy. like me. She knows somebody that knows me. I don't know, but she's making shit up. Why are you being like this, man? Why is she being like that? Well, she's the manager of the store. Out of here. Go inside and mind your business. She it actually got nothing to do with you. I didn't litter. It wasn't trash. It was a fully unlit cigarette. I dropped it on the ground when I thought she was going to. So no, I was a littering. You quit making something out of nothing. I'm not making Cause anything. Because you ain't right. your wife here, dog. Quit foreplaying this. Hey, trying sorry. to manipulate me into. I'm not even gonna violate talk to you my rights and incriminate myself. I don't know who you are, Mister. Uh... Mister Citizen. Okay, okay, Mr. Sovereign Citizen. Only a little bit of freedom I got. Okay, well, maybe you shouldn't break the laws. Well, maybe but anyways, you have sir, and try to sir, something that's not sir you're not allowed I'm back on the property the law, again. Otherwise, you would have arrested me. 
You're not allowed back on the property. Have a good day. He wouldn't tell me who he is. I have no legal authority to detain him in order to trespass him. So he's Why? gone because that's a, a trespass is a, falls under the civil thing, and um, I can't do that. Now, if he comes back here and we can figure out who he is, or you can figure out who he is, let me know. He literally just threw a lit cigarette in my hair. Okay, I. I did not see that. I thought it was the other cigarette. Did you no, throw a cigarette at you? He threw a lit cigarette in my hair. That's what I just started yelling at him. Okay, about. I did not realize that. Yeah, and the first time he threw an unlit, he flicked an unlit cigarette in my face and okay. threw his garbage on the ground. Without knowing the individual's identity, it becomes challenging for the police and the property owner to enforce the trespass order, and as explained, Deputy Jones couldn't detain the suspect because trespassing someone is a civil thing. Hitting the manager in the head with a cigarette constitutes assault, but the fact that the cigarette was lit is considered an aggravating factor increasing the severity of the assault charge. Because of this, Deputy Jones will now arrest the suspect who has, in the meantime, gone to his home. Come here, sir. It's okay, I'm under arrest. Hold arrest. It's all. Hold on, hold on. Dan, stop. 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 Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Explain it to me. Hands behind your back. Please, explain it to me. All right. Relax. You. What did I do here? I didn't do it. Are you going to really book me on a charge that I didn't do? What? What do you mean? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. No, dude. What the? No. Now you've got resistance. No, no, no. I'm not Ah, Man, I didn't do this. I didn't do this, man. You know this is bull. All the way, this is What the f? This is how you handle your job? I swear to God, I'm gonna sue this county. Let me get some cold air. Stop. I'll shut up. I'll, I'll shut up. Let me get some cold air. You're crooked as f not a f cop. Straight lies. I'm gonna sue this f county mother. F Unlawful detainment. I stood my ground. You guys f jumped me like a bunch of spoons. No, f you. This is f it, man. I didn't f do nothing. I didn't commit no crime, and you know it. Mother, f would you stop it? I'm doing this so I can breathe a little easier. That's it. Look, here go my hands. Here go my hands, you boy mother. You ain't coming back here and beat me up. You wanna cuff me? <coughs> you. It ain't your car. You buy it? Did you buy it? Exactly. County car. Don't spit in the county car. I pay for this car. With my taxes, I paid. We're gonna uncuff you. Put your hands behind your back. We're gonna conduct a proper pat down. Okay. Put you back in the car. I've got a water for you. Okay. Okay. If you buck up at any point, decide when we go to undo your handcuffs. If you buck up, try to flee, fight, whatever. Dogs come out. Dogs bite you. If you would not have caused any problems, we wouldn't be here. Good. You understand that? Oh, oh, loosen them. That's what we're talking about. No, to do. No, you gotta loosen them. Well, I loosen am. Them. No, you gotta loosen them. Or don't f it at all. We're loosening it, dude, but you gotta quit moving. Where's promise my water? You, I promise you. Go you get won't. it for you. Have you a seat. Go get it. No, Please. Have a seat. Go get it. Mr. Have a seat. I kept my word. Go keep, go keep yours. Correct. Correct. Get back have a seat. Park. I get it. Uh, Tilt that up. 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11. Beautiful. Okay. Thank you. Flip that, flick that cigarette on the manager. I did not flick a cigarette on anybody. You were standing right there. I did not see it. I had my head turned. Okay, so you were standing right there talking to me. Mr. Key, we're done talking about it, okay? Dude, that's crazy. With these handcuffs, I would have beat your ass. With handcuffs behind my back, I'd the floor with you. I hope North Korea runs this country. I hope we get nuclear bombed and they mm. They tell me it's in my best interest to give my kids away. So I surrender my kids and now everything's being out against me. I know that's what it is. I can't even do nothing about it, man.
And now, a case from Rhode Island that ended up in all the media. You are watching City Council member Matthew Riley, who was noticed in an unconscious state in a parking lot in broad daylight. When the officer came to check on him, Matthew had a crack pipe in his hand, and in the same second he saw the officer, he realized that he had made the dumbest mistake ever. Oh, I'm gonna pat you down. Yes, sir. Just put into, into like your fingers. Mm -hmm. like fingers. Do you have any weapons on you? No, not at all. Oh, no way, dude. Really? Yes, yes. I was just taking, I was just on my way back from court. Bro. Uh, well, arrest is going to come check you out, man. I can't let you go. You were literally choking in your sleep. Somebody flagged me down about it. Oh, I have sleep apnea. I'm sorry. Well, and then you have a crack pipe in your hands, so it's like... Wait, sorry. Listen, I, I have a body camera. Obviously, yep, everything obviously. I have is recorded. You know that, and I, what I've observed is on camera, so I can't pretend I didn't. You know, so a is going to come here, and Jesus. they're going to check you out. You know, you, as far as I know, there's no drugs anywhere, so I None. can't, you know, so there's not a criminal investigation. There's more a health or well-being check type Thank thing. Thank you. Um, but, uh, yeah, I obviously have to document it, you know. You can have that back. Thank you. There will, will be no arrest. What? There will be no arrest. No. Um, is there any? Are there any drugs in the car or anything like that? No. No. Nothing. All right. How long have uh, you had this problem, man? It, it was a it was a relapse. I've been clean for 13 years. All right. Just went through a really really bad divorce recently. Okay. Um. Uh. Do you know if any of that was laced with fentanyl or anything? Because you were out, out, and like, looked like you were choking. Really? Yeah. Um, That's why somebody literally sprinted and, and flagged me down because they thought you were having a heart attack or choking. Uh, I, no, not that I know of. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Can you uh, sit over towards the front of your car, yeah, please? Yeah. Thank you. If you're unsteady on your feet, just... No, find maybe one of those curves or something. Why don't we? Can you are 22 all before a civil complaint, please? The officer suspects there are illegal substances in the vehicle and quickly checks while waiting for backup. Is that uh, available? You want me to get him over here? Would you mind? Yeah, um, I, I don't mind. Just uh, do me a favor. Can you come over to the front of mine? Yeah. Thanks. Just, just hang out in the front yeah. while I make this phone call. Thanks. The discovery of Matthew with a crack pipe in his hand constitutes possession of drug paraphernalia. Even in the absence of actual drugs, possession of paraphernalia is enough for a charge. Public officials are often held to higher standards of conduct, so Matthew might face scrutiny, ethical inquiries, or calls for resignation after such incident. Now, reinforcements have arrived and they will search the suspect's car since there is a strong suspicion that there are illegal substances in the vehicle. I can probably dig out just a smaller little rock so we don't have to break anything. Uh, if we can get a little bit with the pot, uh... The powder? Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll do it. I'll try to do it. I got it. Yeah, it's kind of awkward. Kind of awkward. Well, he claims he was tired and he, and he may have sleep apnea, but I don't think that's going to... Especially like this. Yeah. Fentanyl? Oh, uh, coke. Yeah. Crack. Perfect. I can test it for fentanyl. Test it for both, just to make right. sure that I don't know what we're dealing with. Well, can you just snap a picture of that? Especially yeah. when you put him in a cell, they're watching quick in case he goes down quick. Right. Got it. I'll do all the uh, evidence stuff for you. Thank you. All right. So, um, is he rescue's good with him? Yeah, they're just finishing oh, up right now. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I know, it's not like I have. 
How about an option here, man? Sorry. Let me know if they're a little too tight or anything. We can loosen up. All right. There's stuff all over that car. When your mother gets in that car, I bet she sits in that and touches her face or mouth and goes down. I had no That's idea there was anything. So, look. No, no, I mean the fentanyl. Yeah, you don't know what you're buying. Yeah. Did you buy that today? Yesterday. Yesterday. And yeah. Said, you don't, is the same guy you usually buy it from? I don't usually buy it from anybody. Illegally made and distributed fentanyl has been on the rise. It is often mixed with heroin or cocaine, which significantly amplifies its potency and potential dangers. The United States has seen a significant increase in overdose deaths involving synthetic opioids, primarily driven by fentanyl. According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, over 56,000 opioid-related overdose deaths occurred in the United States in 2020, and a large portion of these involved fentanyl. They're not all honest people. No, 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 I mean, I mean, uh, once or twice. Yeah, but whoever you buy it from, if you if you continuously buy it from, you know who you're buying it from. This, you don't know what people put in it. No, I, I understand. You know, they may have made that, but that's a big rock you got in there. What's that? A fifty dollar piece? Uh, Hundred. Hundred. Yeah, so I just just got back into this. I, I, you gotta, this is gonna listen. I this is terrible situation. We're all in a tough spot, but we gotta do what we gotta do right by the numbers. It'll help you in the end. Believe me when I tell you, you can't go down this road anymore. No, no. God forbid we find you dead. That that would that's terrible. You yeah. know what I mean? And you were down in the car. You, you gotta get on a program right away. No, that, I, I mean, I, I look at you. Yeah. You're not the Matt Riley that we know. Trust me. And I listen. Your health and your well-being is worth way more. Than any political career. I, I don't care. About yeah, we'll it's keep it. We'll kids. keep it. Listen, we're not. We're, Please, we're, we kids. we don't report nothing to the media unless someone tells them. So and then our arrest record is our public record. I'm not gonna lie to you. We have to release an arrest record by law. You know. All right, jump in before you. We just want to make sure we're gonna monitor you because you've, you've yeah. taken just in some. I'm gonna pat you down oh, again, yeah. all right? You've taken in some fentanyl, Matt, and that's that's you know we've gotta make sure you're, you you don't may not feel it right now, but God forbid something happens to you. Yeah, you, no, I've never you done feel that. Feel terrible so. about that, you know. I mean, there's there's all shit on the seat. There's all drugs on the seat. I wasn't joking, I have an appointment on, on 17. All right. So. I'll crack a window for you in a second. Thank you. How are you feeling? All right, I'm talking about, I don't want you nodding out or anything. Oh, oh no, no, nothing like that, no. Okay. Thank you. Uh, have you been arrested before? Um, years ago. What, like recently, recently? No, no, no. Not on probation? No. Yeah, then you're going to... You're going to most likely get out fairly quickly. The substance found in his car tested positive for crack cocaine and fentanyl, and Matthew got charged with possession of controlled substance. Police received a tip about a drug deal in progress, and several units went to the scene to catch the criminals in the act. However, as soon as he saw them, the suspect sped off initiating a chase. Considering the chase was extremely dangerous for others on the road, it was eventually called off. Later, they located the vehicle and towed it to the station. So, it's got damage. So, front end damage. Oh, look at how scraped up that is. He had to have hit something on the back. Had to have. But maybe not. After two months of surveillance, they set up an ambush for the suspect. Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Don't move! Don't move! Don't move! Told you we'd get you. What's up, Gabriel? Don't do it! Don't, don't, don't do it, dude! Your car's off? Let's go! You the girlfriend? Oh, it's my niece. It's your niece? Let me Let's go, man. It ain't worth it. Hey. Don't try running, man. 
You think you're gonna outrun me now? What was the cross street? What's the last huh? you for? So your sorry, he's your uncle. Scared. It's okay. Yeah. Your uncle. I don't want. I don't want you to get scared. But your uncle uh, ran from the police a while ago. I know. Okay. Okay. You're not in trouble. Okay. okay. No, I know I'm not in trouble. It's just, I just that was unexpected. Like, I get you. I get you. Is this his stuff or whose stuff is this? My stuff. This is all yours. Yeah, everything in here is mine. I don't know. I don't. I didn't know if he brought anything with him. I don't. Know. Okay. He didn't bring any bags with him. You 100% sure? Yeah. Because if we get a dog here... It seems that the niece was in shock because after a minute, she started claiming that those were not her belongings, but instead, they belonged to her uncle Gabriel. This is, this is his stuff? Yeah. This is all his stuff? Yeah. This, so you're saying... Yeah. No, that's his stuff. This I'm is not yours? No, it's not mine. Okay, not this is his, right? Yeah. Okay, because I'm just documenting this on camera. This is his? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is not yours? No. Okay. This is his? Yep. Hey. Man, Gabriel. Really? The weapon found by the police has just complicated the entire situation. The nieces claim that everything in the car, including the firearm, belongs to her uncle, is a crucial point. The legal responsibility for the gun depends on ownership and possession. She now has to convince the officers that the weapon is not hers, as the vehicle in which it was found is registered to her, and she initially claimed that everything was hers. So, this is your uncle, right? Yeah, where do you, blood where do you, your blood uncle? Yeah, my, where do you live at? You live at... Um, okay, did he call you to get picked up or what happened? Yeah, he called. I'll go clean his house for him sometimes. You time. clean his house, okay. And, and he asked me if I could just go take him to my grandma's house. Okay. That, that was it. Does he drive or no? I don't know. I don't, he just asked me to go take him to, his, to my grandma's house and... Okay. Yeah. What's going to happen right now is we're going to have to tow the car. My yeah, because all the illegal stuff in that bag is his. Okay, you told us it's his. I asked you. We're gonna have to. We're gonna lock it up, and it's gonna get towed to Niles Police Department. Do you know where that's at? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's well, like a black well, she told us not. It's not his. It's, they're not hers. It's his. On camera, so we had to take it out of her car. I mean, and this is this car. Oh, you own the car? Okay. It's my car. It's your car. Okay, so we're going to tow it. We're going to have to tow it. Okay, just based on everything your uncle had in the car. You even tell me, I asked you who's back through these. You said it was his. My partner saw him walk into the car. We, we, everything we, everything is on camera. So, uh, we've been watching him for a while. But so I, we I, know. I'm just saying, that's not your back. Yeah, that's not my, I, that's none of my stuff or anything. I, didn't, I don't know if he, I didn't know anything he had in that bag. I didn't know anything. Can I talk to my niece real quick? Is we that possible? We, uh, we released her. She's not being charged right now. No, so. I, I know. I just want well, to we can let you make a phone call. Okay. No, we can't. We can't let you talk to her. I'm sorry. Even buddy. with you guys listening? Yeah, yeah recording. Okay. I know. I'm sorry. It's, just, it's like policy. They don't want... Can you ask her to yeah. call my brother? Yeah, I can let her. My like, girlfriend. Okay, your girlfriend and brother? brother? Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Hey, you, is this your Cheetos? Those are hers. Hers? Okay. You have any food in there, donuts you want? We can bring with you. Um... We're gonna read you your rights, uh, but I just gotta get just basic information first, your full name, last name, all that stuff, okay? Uh, give me one second. We'll let you make phone calls. This is not admitting any guilt. This is nothing with guilt, okay? And I'm even saying this is nothing admitting guilt. This is just us giving you your rights and you just advising that, yes, we gave you your rights, okay? You don't wanna sign? Okay, I'll put refused, okay? Refused? There's going to be charges from today, from with your, uh, is that your niece in the car? Okay. Um, for everything that was in that car, okay, there's going to be charges on that. Um, we may also go after your girlfriend because she was in the car from September, that September incident. We may also go after her because we've attempted to contact her and she refused to come in. She refused to get pick up the car. So there may be charges with her. I don't know if she's, is she like a, a medical student? Does she do anything in the, in the medical field? 
Was she a nurse or something or no? Oh, you don't have to. That's fine. So why don't you call your lawyer? Tell them where you're at. Let them know what's going on. Tell them know what what happened. Um, I'm sure he knows because he he talked to my partner. Your lawyer knows the charges. Right. He talked to my partner three or four times, and we suggested you come in, and you didn't do that. So. Get out of the car. Out of the car now. Out of the car. Is this your car? Get out. Show me your hands, okay? Just step out. Who's in the passenger seat? Whose car is it? Stop. Stay right there. Stop. This car is stolen. Destiny, stop. Now. Sir, get out of the car, please. Get out of the car. Shut the door. Turn around. Turn around. What did Stop. I do? I didn't do anything. You stole the car. Stop. I'm steal the Stop. Car. Come here. Destiny, stay right no, there. Don't steal. move. Sir. Do not move. Sir. Come here. Whose vehicle is this? Stop moving. I didn't steal Stop moving. I didn't steal the car. Come here. No, Come here. Now. Stop. No, We're not playing these games. No, I didn't steal the car. Yes, you did. Because this is a stolen vehicle. I do not know that, sir. I'm telling you right now, this is a stolen vehicle, I'm okay? Thank you for wearing me, sir. Okay. No, stand right here, please. Okay. How are you detaining me, sir? I'm gonna put handcuffs on you. Stop. No, stop. 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 Please, no. please, sir. I'm putting sir. handcuffs sir, stop. on you. Sir, Destiny, sir. stop. No. No, stop. Sir, no, stop. No, sir, please. No. You be bogus because, sir, because no. Hands I behind your back. Right. No. Stop. Hands no, behind your back. No. No. You're going down the ground if you do not put your hands behind your back. You're going down to the ground. Back up. Now. Back up. Destiny, hands behind your back. Now. Now Stop me. moving. I swear to God. Stop moving. How was the car stolen? You stole it. That's how. What do you mean? How was. Stop. Now. Get no, in here. Get in me. here now. No. Do you ain't fucking gonna touch me? Destiny. Look at those get in here now. Get in here now. Sir, get out of the vehicle now. Stop going in the vehicle. Out. Stay right there! I'm not telling you again! Meet Destiny and her boyfriend Andrew. During regular patrol, an officer was informed that a vehicle was stolen nearby and that a girl named Destiny was suspected of the theft. The officer quickly spotted the stolen vehicle and stopped it, and the thieves immediately got out to protest. The main problem here is that the thieves are visibly agitated and scared, and the officer is absolutely alone, so anything can be expected in such situations. Get inside the vehicle. No, I'm not gonna get, get inside the vehicle now! I don't, I can't do that. I don't. Yes, you can. I don't. I, I got anxiety. I'll sit on the floor. Here, you got about two seconds to get in the car. I'm putting you in there. What are you going to do get if in I there, don't? Pal. Get in. You're still a f***ing rookie yet. Sir, listen to me, okay? You're going to be detained right now, okay? Well, I'm getting detained Because that you're in possession of a stolen vehicle. I'm trying to tell you. Do you, you understand sir, listen, that? Listen, I'm, I understand. Listen to me, sir. I just, we just, okay. we just, just turn, turn around and put your hands behind your back. You African American. That has nothing to do with it. This is a stolen vehicle. to me with a weapon. You could just talk to me at first. You came out and pulled your weapon out on me, man. Two detained. She's in the back right now. She's being aggressive. All right, come here to the front of the car, please. African American male. What's your name? African American male. That's, okay. That's not your name. All right, we're going back. My, my ID, my wallet is right on, okay. on that car. You've seen it. it. Wow. I'm just kidding. Actually, I'm going to. No, I don't, don't touch me no more. Don't touch no. me, please. Come on. Come on, man. Why can't you talk? You just pat me down. I know man. he did. But this oh, is now, my squad. Oh, now you want to touch me too? This is my okay. squad. Y'all are some, are some racist You're white crazy. boys. In the meantime, Destiny was raging in another car and managed to remove the handcuffs. The officer then began to tie her up again and she then hit him. Step out of the vehicle. Do nothing. Step out. I'm not gonna step, step out. Step out right now. You're not gonna shoot my You're right, I'm not. Come out of the vehicle like I asked you to. Destiny, do you have any weapons on you? No, I don't. Okay, can you grab my handcuffs, please? No, because you're not finna say Okay, then get out of the vehicle. Can you grab my hands? Yes, I can grab your hands. Can you grab this other one? Yep. So I'm not gonna sit here and play with you because I'm not. Okay. Put your hands behind the back. You got it? You got it? You got it? Who's your partner here? You want Who's your partner? You want Destiny. Yes. Who's your partner? Uh, yes. All right, now face this car. Spread your feet out. No, you can't touch Spread me. Spread your feet out. No, I'm gonna tell you right now. You can't touch me because 
Right? No, you stop, can bring a few more. Stop I'm now. Here. Do you have no. any weapons on you? I don't have no, but you ain't going to touch I'm me. I'm searching you. No, it's bring happening. a few more. I'm over you. here. Ma'am, I'm not doing no, anything you illegal. Bring, no. You're being searched. Stop. You can bring a few more officers over here right now. Bring a few more officers right here. Stop. Over here right Turn now. Turn around. Stop. We're not playing no. these games. Cooperate. What the f*** you mean you can't? You Cooperate. ain't playing these games. There's no female officers. So. Okay, well, Sorry. why is he going to sit here and touch me like the way you want to touch me? Well, why is he going to sit here and touch me the way you want to touch me? Do not kick me again. I swear to God, I'll kick your ass inside the mother. Head. Okay, that's a felony. That was a mess. Yeah, no. When two of them was, came out, I was so far away. Were they starting to take off out of the vehicle? They got they? out of the vehicle. They weren't listening. I had them out of gunpoint. They Grace. would not listen. I'm like, Destiny kept running around, and I'm trying to grab her. Gotcha. This guy's kept reaching in the vehicle, reaching right here. He would not listen. Hey, this is Officer Gar Nielsville Police Department. Yeah, we've been keeping an eye out for that stolen vehicle. Um, I just happened to come across it 10 minutes ago. Um, we have pulled over here. There was two people inside and they're both detained right now. Um, just looking to see what you guys want done with the car and if the owner wants us to search it. And uh, you guys know that Destiny was the one that stole the vehicle. <laughs> Destiny was charged with two counts of battery threat to an officer, two counts of resisting an officer and operating a vehicle without consent. Andrew was charged with resisting an officer and operating a vehicle without consent, but his charges were eventually dropped.